Hello everyone, this is Super Sunny C4 Techsuplex.com and today we'll be looking at uh, BBM 3.0 on Android and also um, BBM, sorry, BBM 2.0 on Android and also BBM 3.0 or 10.3 on BlackBerry 10. Just a quick look to see what's new and what's different. So I'll start with Android. Um, one of the first things you'd notice here with um, BBM 2.0, the same thing on the iPhone, just in case you're wondering, is this button up here, which is um, it looks like a phone call button. And what that does, that's the BBM voice icon, so it now lets you make phone calls from BBM to BBM, or voice calls from BBM to BBM. So that's what happened. That's what happens. You tap the button on top, and you can see the calls connected already. It's almost instant. To pick up, you drag same way you'd pick a BlackBerry 10 phone call. You put drag to the left, and then it has to connect for a bit, which is sort of annoying. But now it's connected, and you can see the call is going through. If I put it on speaker now, you would hear. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Delay is minimal. Um, it has this thingy sound though. It sounds a bit compressed, but um, that's how it works. If you were making this call on a BlackBerry, you'd be able to jump back into the conversation, you know, and continue talking while the call is going on. So that's it for uh, BBM voice. Uh, you This option here lets you share it on a bigger screen if you had one via um, Miracast or Wi-Fi Direct or HDMI cable but that's that for the calls and then um, another thing you'd notice here is this icon and that's new um, here as well it's also here on the BlackBerry 10 version of BBM. So what it does is it gives you a whole new bunch of options that you can reach quickly. Uh, the first one is going back to the keyboard which is pretty basic. The second one launches the camera and lets you take a picture, save and send back to the whoever you want to send it to so it's just basically really quick access to your stuff the picture is here um, the next option is blackberry voice messaging or voice notes and it is it borrows a leaf from whatsapp not so long ago whatsapp updated and added like the future to send voice notes in an almost push to talk manner and BlackBerry has followed suit with this one so what happens is you basically just hold it down and it starts recording what you're saying and when you release it sends but if you hold it down and you don't want to send what you're recording you just drag it to the left and that's all the next function here is Glimpse uh, Glimpse is sort of sort of reminds me of Google Latitude. I don't know if you used it back in the day before Google scrapped it, but the way it works on this is it lets you send your location right for oh, an app has crashed um, for a limited period which you set I'll set this to five minutes and when you send it the person gets to see where you are and for that time that you are there the network is just bugging here so it's a bit slow but this is a glimpse that I've sent before so this is what it looks like you just click on it you know it gives you a time limit on top this one expires in four minutes and then it shows you a map of where I am and if I if I want to reply that, I could do the same. 
and you know set I'll set this for five minutes and send it back. Sorry. So this would this is here. Do I want to follow my location on the map? That's what it's asking. You click on it, it opens maps and shows where I am. As you can see both phones are at the same spot. One's grey and the other is blue. And that's why um it's there. But that's 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 it basically. Like that's how it works. And that's it for glimpse. Uh not too fast. Yeah. The last thing to look at there is this. Now this is this is a shortcut to send files, but it's added some new features. So now you could send your location regular. You could send your any file. You could send the contact. You can send a picture, and this now has Dropbox integration. So let's use that for a while. This is what's on my Dropbox. Um, let's go to camera uploads. It's a picture of my dogs. You know, so it's just pick that up from Dropbox and I'm sending that over BBM real quick. And here it is from Dropbox. I received the notification. So um that's what is new in here. Now outside the space you also have a new feature that's come to BBM which is channels. Now channels are, it's hard to explain channels but the easiest way to explain them would be sort of think um, so somewhere between a blog and Twitter. So you get it, you open your channel and people could, can search for it or join it and when they join it they could read your whatever you're posting and comment just the same way you do on the blog. It's micro blogging actually restricted to 400 characters unlike Twitter's 140. So there are a couple of interesting ones here. This is Sean Paul, this is Crackberry, Sean, The Lamb, PGA Tour, the Olympic Games. Um, let's see a preview of what's on the Olympic Games. So here you have like a live stream that you can follow information about a live stream and some other golf stuff that is not so interesting to me sorry golf um, golf enthusiasts yeah so there are a bunch of channels you just look through um, you can search for channels here like there's a tech suplex channel so let me search for it even though I've joined it already yeah so it's found one match, which is the Tech Suplex channel here. So you could just join it straight or click on it to get more information about what the channel is about. I've added this already, so it's not giving me that option. But let me jump um, right to the channel. So this is the Tech Suplex channel. You can click on it and as you can see we're, we're going to be doing a live chat in about an hour 30 minutes with um, people and you can see some of the posts that we've posted on the channel and um, some of the responses. This has the channel feature as well. It's had it for a while actually. So um, let's go to the Texaplex channel. This is like the master the control um, phone for the channel where the channel is hosted. As you can see, I changed the team to black on BlackBerry 10, but it's basically um, the same thing. Now, um, for channels, you have like a bunch of options. This is like your console where you could see your stats, your subscribers, number of visits, engagement, and whatnot. Um, people can report other users, other subscribers for um, on social behavior basically and that will come here and here is for you to chat. You can open it up which is what we're going to be doing in a few minutes to other people to come chat with you. Right now it's not open so 
you could see it's telling you that and if it when you when you do open it up people will be able to chat at you even when they're not on your contacts so it's it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool thing um, the engagement levels on it are pretty high um, you get a lot of responses to stuff here it feels really personal so people are you know very likely to comment as you can see here there are a bunch of comments on that post so that is channels now um, for blackberry 10 you can also make voice calls sorry you can also make video calls just like you can make voice calls on BPM um, that isn't cross-platform yet so would not be checking that out now um, what else the groups have been extended so you can now have 50 up to 50 people in a group you know and then um, what else is new that's a, that's about it really that's about it so um, once again thank you very much for joining us on this short video blog post we'll be writing a post on textsuplex.com explaining all of this and putting it in text and there would also be a lot more interesting stuff on Texaplex coming really soon. Thank you for joining us again once more. This is Super Sanusi from Texaplex.com. You should visit the site, um, join our channel, follow us on Twitter at Texaplex.com, follow us on Facebook, like our page on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Texaplex. Same thing for Google Plus. Google dot com slash plus slash textuplex um and that's about it thank you